Today we will learn about different types of UTP cable that we can use to connect network devices together. In this lesson, we will learn about the following topics. First of all, we will answer the two important questions. How many pairs are used for data transfer and what decides UTP cable types? Then we will go into detail about straight through cable and crossover cable. Finally, we will sum up our lesson with the keynotes. How many pairs of wires in UTP cable are used to transmit data depending on the Ethernet physical standards? The 10 base T and 100 base T standards require two pairs of wires for data transfer. One pair for transmitting data, the other pair for receiving data. Only orange and green pairs are used to connect to pin 1, 2 and 3, 6 on an Ethernet port. The 1000 base T standard requires four pairs, two pairs for transmitting data, two other pairs for receiving data. So this question makes us come up with another question. Which pair is used to transmit and which pair is used to receive? The answer is it depends on the following factors. The Ethernet ports of the device being connected and the standard being used to terminate cable T568A and T568B. To answer the question, what decides the type of UTP cable being used? Let's look into an Ethernet port. As you know, every two pins in an Ethernet port play a role either as transmitter or receiver. These two pins are used to connect a pair of wires in UTP cable. To make it simple, in our example, it shows the two nicks with only four pins each. As you can see, the nick in device A, pin 1 and 2 for transmitter, and pin 3 and 6 for receiver. However, the nick in device B, pin 1 and 2 for receiver, and pin 3 and 6 for transmitter. Now, in order to transmit data between the two devices, the transmitter of one device must be connected to the receiver of the other device and vice versa. So, to the conclusion, the Ethernet ports of the two devices that you plan to connect decides the type of UTP cable being used. Let's look into this example. To make it simple, it shows the two nicks with only four pins each. As you can see, the transmitter and the receiver of the two devices using the opposite pin pairs. In order to connect the transmitter of one device to the receivers of the other device, we need to make the UTP cable so that both RJ45 connectors are terminated with the same pin pair assignment like this and you can easily recognize these are the two RJ45 connectors and inside the RJ45 connectors we see that the cable connect 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3 and 6 to 6 that's why it is called straight through cable. We've just learned the concept of making straight through UTP cable. Let's look into the detail on how to make 10 base T and 100 base T straight through cable. The standards for terminating UTP cable in RJ45 connector are T568A and T568B. Let's look into T568A color code. This picture shows you with an RJ45 connector terminated with UTP cable following T568A standard. 
you can figure out that to make it straight through cable both RJ45 connectors are terminated with the same order. You can also see that it used green pair for pin 1, 2 and orange pair for pin 3 and 6. Now let's look into T568B color code. You can see that in T568B it used orange pair for pin 1, 2 and green pair for pin 3 and 6. So to the conclusion, both T568A and T568B standards use the same pin pairs orange and green but they swap the pin positions. Let's look into this example. As you can see, the transmitter and the receiver of the two devices using the same pin pairs. In order to connect the transmitter of one device to the receivers of the other device, we need to make a cable so that both RJ45 connectors are terminated with the opposite pin pair assignment like this. As you can see, Pin 1 connect to pin 3 and pin 2 connect to pin 6. Therefore, it is called crossover cable. This picture shows you 10 base T and 100 base T crossover cable pin out. As you can see in crossover cable, one end uses T568A and the other uses T568B pin positions. Let's sum up our lesson with the keynotes. You can use the table below to figure out what type of UTP cable that you use to connect your devices together. From the table, you must use crossover cable if you connect devices in the same group. And you must use a straight through cable if you connect devices in different groups. In the real world experience, you can use crossover cable to connect devices in group 1 to a Cisco switch because the switch has a feature called Auto MDIX that detects when the wrong cable is used and it automatically changes its logic to make the link work. However, for the exams, you need to choose the correct type of cable.